Hello, my name is Titiji Kepsi Richie, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, our discussion on relation will be on properties of relations. Last, we talk about the properties that a relation may have. We say that a relation can be reflexive, irreflexive, symmetric, antisymmetric, asymmetric, and transitive. In our last video, we talk about the reflexive property, the irreflexive property, as well as the symmetric property. Today, before the video ends, I will take you through the other three properties. That's anti-symmetric, asymmetric, and transitive. This will be a very interesting engagement. So please, take a seat. So we'll start things off with the anti-symmetric property. When is a relation said to be anti-symmetric? A relation defined on a set that we say a relation R is said to be anti-symmetric if for all, if for all other things, AB is a member of the relation R, then BA is also a member of the relation R, then A is equal to B. If A is not equal to B, then it is not, then it is, it is not anti-symmetric. That's what we mean. Let me explain this in a layman definition for you. So if I have a relation, uh, the other pair 1, 1, in this, in a relation maybe R, okay? If I have an order pair 1, 1 in the relation R, if I flip 1, 1, that means the second one will become first and the first will become second. I will still get 1, 1. 1, 1, is 1, 1 a member of R? Yes. If it is a member of R, then 1 must be equal to 1. If it is not equal to, after flipping, and it is a member of R, then it ceases to be anti -semitic. So if I have, let's say, 2, 3, okay? If I flip 2, 3, I'll get 3, 2. Ask yourself, is 3, 2 a member of R? If it is a member of R, then the relation ceases to be anti-symmetric. If it is not, then for all other pairs, then it is anti-symmetric. That, that's the simple explanation to this. So we'll take some relations, some uh, relations, then we'll look at which one is anti-symmetric, and which one is not. So, we will take an example to see uh, whether that relation is uh, anti-symmetric or not. So, it will determine which of the following relation is anti-symmetric and which is not. And which is not. So, I said flip, you flip it, each of the other pair, if you flip it and it is a member and they are equal, then perfect. But if you flip it and it is a member, then it ceases to be anti symmetric. So that, that's a trick. So if you flip it and they are not equal and it is a member, then it ceases to be anti symmetric. So that, that's a trick. So now let's flip the first one. On flip 1 1, we we'll still get 1 1. Is 1 1 a member? Yes. However, 1 is equal to 1. Perfect. We don't have problem. Now let's flip 1, 2. On flip 1, 2, we'll get 2, 1. Is 2, 1 a member of this relation? No. Perfect. Because 1 is not equal to 2. Now let's flip 1, 3. Is 3, 1... Uh, on flip 1, 3, we'll get 3, 1. Is 3, 1 a member? No. Perfect. Because 1 is not equal to 3. Let's flip one for one. Flip one for we'll get four one. Is four one a member of this relation? No, perfect because one is not equal to four. Let's flip two two. One flip two two. We'll get two two again. Is two two a member? Yes, but two is equal to two, so perfect. Now let's flip two three. One flip two three. We'll get three two. Is three two a member here? No, perfect. Because 2 is not equal to 3. On flip 2, 4, we'll get 4, 2. Is 4, 2 a member? No. Perfect. Because 4 is not equal to 2 as well. On flip 3, 3, we'll still get 3, 3. 3, 3 is a member. However, 3 is equal to 3. So, perfect. Let's flip 3, 4. We'll get 4, 3. Is 4, 3 a member? No. Perfect. Because 3 is not equal to 4. Let's flip 4, 4. On flip 4, 4, we'll still get 4, 4. 4, 4 is a member. However, 4 is equal to 4. So, perfect. For all 
other person. You see that when you flip it, it is not a member. Even if it is a member, the flipping one is equal to the other. So when it happens like that, then we say R1 is anti symmetric. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. Let's look at the second relation. The second one. The second one is here. So we'll flip. When we flip one one, we we'll still get one one. One one is a member. One is equal to one. Perfect. Let's flip one two. When we flip one two, we'll get two one. Two is not equal to one. Is two one a member? Yes. Then it ceases to be anti-symmetric. As far as the flipping, you flip it and it is a member and they are not equal, then it ceases to be anti-symmetric. So we say R2 is not anti-symmetric. It's not anti-symmetric. Uh, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. Now let's look at the third one. Let's look at the third one. We'll flip again. Let's flip to one. We'll flip to one. We'll get one two. Is one two a member of this relation? No. Perfect. Because one is not equal to two. Let's flip three one. We'll flip three one. We'll get one three. Is one three a member? No. Perfect. Because three is not equal to one. Let's flip three two. When we flip 3, two, we get 2, 3. Is 2, 3 a member here? No. Perfect. Because 3 is not equal to 2. Let's flip 4, 1. When we flip 4, 1, we get 1, 4. Is 1, 4 a member here? No. Perfect. Because 4 is not equal to 1. When we flip 4, 2, we get 2, 4. Is 2, 4 a member? No. Perfect. Because 4 is not equal to 2. Let's flip 4, 3. When we flip 4, 3, we get 3, 4. Is 3, 4 a member here? No, because 4 is not equal to 3. When it happens like that for all other tests, please, all other tests, then R3 is anti symmetric. Then it's, it's anti symmetric. Now let's check the last one. You can pause the video, pause the video, and try to check if the R4 is anti symmetric. Now compare your answers. Compare your answers. We'll flip one one. We'll flip one one. We'll still get one one. One one is a member of this relation. However, one is equal to one. So we don't have problem there. Now let's flip one two. When we'll flip one two, we'll get two one. Is two one a member? Yes. As far as it is a member and they are not equal, then that alone is an enough reason to disqualify the R4 to, to be anti symmetric. So we say R4 is not. Anti symmetric is not anti symmetric. So I, I hope you get the anti symmetric. It's not anything. Just flip it. When you flip it and they are equal and it's still a member, then we don't have problem. But if you flip it and they are not equal and it's a member, then it ceases to be anti symmetric. I hope you get that. Now, before we look at the next one, I want you to note something. Note something. Note that. Less or equal to, greater or equal to, and equal to, have anti-symmetric property. We'll be using it, so please take note of that. They have anti-symmetric property. Now, before we look at the next one, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. So we we'll look at the, sec the second property for the day: asymmetric property. It's also a very easy one. So we say a relation R is said to be asymmetric. If for all the other thing, A, B is a member of R, then B, A should not be a member of R. Should not be a member of R. I will explain that. It is the opposite for symmetric property. Please, if you have not watched my video on symmetric property, go to YouTube, search for the TJ Kepsi Richie and watch the, my uh, video on symmetric property. Now, let me explain this to you. You know, when we are talking about the anti symmetric, when we flip and the eye point is a member, we don't have a problem. But this one, even the eye point, after flipping and it's a member, it ceases. That's all. So now let's see. If we have a, a relation with the other pair 1 1, when you flip 1 1, you still get 1 1. Is 1 1 a member of the relation? If yes, it ceases to be asymmetric. 
Then, if you have a relation 2, 3, when we flip it, we get 3, 2. Is 3, 2 a member of the relation R? If yes, it ceases to be asymmetric. After flipping any of them, you should not have their corresponding relation there. If they have, then it ceases to be asymmetric. So we we'll take some examples, then we we'll look at which relation is asymmetric and which one is not. So we'll look at example on the asymmetric property. They determine which of the following relations define a set A equal to that is asymmetric and which is not. Which is not. So I told you that just flip when you flip and it is not a member for all other pairs, then it is asymmetric. If it is, then it is not. So let's check. When we flip to one, we get one to check whether one two is a member. It is not. We don't have problem. When we flip three one, we get one three. Check whether one three is a member. It is not. We don't have a problem. When we flip three two, we get two three. Is two three a member? No. So we don't have problem with that. When we flip four one, we get one four. Check whether one four is a member. It is not. We are on the right path. When we flip four two, we get two four. Check whether two four is a member. It is not. We are on the right path. When we flip 4, 3, we get 3, 4. Check whether 3, 4 is a member. It is not. We are on the right. For all, it is not. Then we can say R1 is asymmetric. I hope, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. Now let's look at the second one. The second one. The R2. R2. Just flip. Just flip. When we flip 1, 1. We have one one. Is one one a member? Yes. That alone should disqualify that relation from being asymmetric. However, let's check this. On flip one two, we we'll get two one. Look at this. Two one is a member. It's also added to that reason for it not being asymmetric. So if a relation is given to you, check whether we have a self loop. You know, a self loop is when one relation relates itself. Immediately, it is among the relation. That relation ceases to be asymmetric. It ceases. So, check this. The self loop is there. It ceases. See, another self loop here. Another self loop here. Even there are no reasons to say that this relation is not asymmetric. So, we said R2 is not asymmetric. Now, let's check the R3. Look at this. Self loop. Don't even waste time. Disqualify it to be asymmetric. But however, see, one flip one to get one. Two one is a member. So it's added to that reason. So R3 is not asymmetric. It's not asymmetric. I hope, I hope you get that. Okay, let's, let's do the last one. You can pause the video and try it and see if you get it correct. Now let's flip one. To one flip one to get two one. Is two one here? No, we don't have a problem. When we flip one four, we get four one. Is four one a member of the relation R four? No, we don't have a problem. When we flip two four, we get four two. Is four two a member? No, we don't have a problem. Then we can say R four is asymmetric. It's asymmetric. Uh, I hope you understand this very well. I hope you understand this very well. Now take note of this. Less than greater than are asymmetric. Any other sign is not asymmetric. Take note of that. We'll be using it. So let's look at a transitive property. A transitive. This is a little bit technical, but I'll explain it to the lowest so that you understand. They say a relation R defined on a set is said to be transitive if A. Uh, the other pair AB is a member of R, DC is a member of R, and AC is a member of R. What is the meaning? If A relate B and the same B relate C, then A must also relate the C. When it happens like that for all other pairs, then we say that relation is transitive. If not, then it is not transitive. I hope, I hope you get that. We we'll take a sample. Questions or an example so that you understand the explanation of this.
So we we'll look at an example on the uh, transitive property. So you determine whether or not the relation is defined on the set B uh, equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 is transitive or not. Is transitive or not. I'll show you an easy way of doing this so that you will be abreast with it. Remember, we, they say that they say that if A relates B, okay, and uh, B relates C, then A must relate C. If it happens like that, for all other pairs, then we say that the relation is transitive. If not, it is not. Uh, I hope you get that. So, we'll be doing that. So now, let's have the relation AB. So AB will be for all the members here. So I can have 1, 1, okay? 1, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1. I will, I'm listing all the other pairs in the relation. Then, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, and 4, 4. I listed all. Now, I must have B, C. What is the meaning? You will list the relations that see where all these numbers start. So we we'll list the relation that one start, two start, four start, one like that in that order. So now I'll come here. Which relation that one start? You can have one one. Which relation that okay, we can have one, two as well, because one starts. Okay, we can have one, four. Look at it, because one starts. Do you have any that one start again? No. Now we come here, one, two. We list a relation that see, two starts. The two is the B. So the two starts. So which relation that we have two starting? Look at it. We have two, one, as well as two, two. Yes. Now we come to one, four. We we'll, we'll list the other pair that four starts. Four starts. Do you have any that four starts? Yes, four, four, four. I think that's four. That's the only one. Now we come to two, one. Which relation that one starts? So we have one, 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 two, and one, four. Now two, two. Which relation that two starts? Two, two start. So we have two, one, as well as two, two. Three, three. Which relation that three starts? Three. So we have three, three, then three, four as well. Now which relation that four starts? Four, four starting. So it's only four, four. Then this also four, four, four starts, so four, four. Now the next thing is that, that's for BC. A must relate C. So, We'll pick the first entry here and the second entry there. So one, one. So we have one, one. Now one, two. So one, two. Then one, four. Then one, four. Ask yourself, is all this other pair a member of the set? One, one is there. One, two is there. One, four is there. Then we don't have a problem with that. Now let's come here. We'll pick one, one. So one, one. Then we'll pick one, two. So one, two. Is one, one a member? Yes. One, two a member? Yes. We don't have a problem with that. Now let's pick this one. So one and four. One, four. Is one, four a member? Yes. Then we don't have a problem. Then this, we'll pick two, one. So we have two, one, two, 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 four, then two and four. Do you have two, one in the relation? Yes. Do you have two, 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 two in the relation? Where is two, two? Two, two is there. Do you have two, four? Two, four. Where is two, four? There is no two, four in the relation. That alone is an enough reason to disqualify this relation from being transitive. As far as we have two for the and it is not related, then it is one. Then we can say that our R, our R1, let's say this is one, 
our R1 is not transitive. There is no need to do it for all if you have found a reason to disqualify it. We'll solve another example so that you get a concept. So let's look at the second example. They determine whether or not the relation is defined on the set A is, is transitive or not. So determine whether it is transitive. So now, these are the members of the relation. So the A, B will still be the members. Okay? So uh, let me do this so that you will understand better. So we we'll list all the members. All the other pairs. So we have one, one. We have one, two, two, one, two, two, three, four, four, one, four, four, three, one, three, four, four, two, and three, two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I count to so that I will not leave any of the other pairs out. Now we come to B, C. Now B, C is that we leave the relation that when we come here, we leave the relation that one starts. So one starts, we have one, one. Okay? Then one starts here too, so one, two. Is there any other pair that one starts? No. So we go to the second one. The other pair that two starts. Two starts. So we have two one. Okay. Then two two. Two two. I hope you are getting that. Then here the other pair that one starts again. So one one. Then one two. Then here the other pair that two starts. So two one. Then two two. The other pair that four starts. Four start. So we have four one. Then four four. The next one. The other pair that one starts. So the other pair that four starts. Four starts. So we have four one. Four four. Then four two. So four two. Then come here, the other pairs that one starts, it will be one, one, and one, two. Then the other pair that four starts, four starts. So four, one, four, four, and four, two. Then the other pair that one starts, so you have one, one, and one, two. Then the third one, this one, the other pair that four starts again, so four, one, 4, 4, and 4, 2. Then the other pair that 2 starts. So 2, 1, and 2, 2. Then the other pair that 2 starts again. 2, 1, and 2, 2. Now we come to the third place. That will be the decision maker. Okay? Very, very interesting. That's A relates C. A relates C. So A relates C is that we pick the first one here. And the second one here. So the first one here, one. The second one here, one. One, one. We pick the first one here, one. The second one here. So that one, two. As I said, it's one, one, and one, two. A member of this relation. One, 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 two. They are members. Then we don't have a problem. But we'll check for all. The second one. So one and one here. So one, one. One and two. One, two. They are members. 2, 1, 2, 1, then 2, 2, 2, 2. Uh, 2, 1 and 2, 2 are members. 2, 1, 2, 2, they are members. We don't have problem. Now we go to the fourth one, the fourth one, this. So, 2, 1, 2, 1, then 2, 2, 2, 2. They are members. Now we come here, 3, 1, 3, 1, then 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 2, 3, 2. Check whether they are members. 3, 1 is a member, 3, 4 is a member, then 3, 2 is also a member. Okay, so we go to the next one. 
four one four one then four two four two we check is four one a member four one is here four two a member four two is a member so we don't have problem let's go to the next one four one again four four then four two if you check they are all members now we check we do it for the next one this three one then three two are they members three one is a member three one is there three two is also there we don't have a problem now let's check for this one too. three one three one is a member three four three four is three four a member yes is there three two three two is three two a member yes is there now we come we are almost there four one four one then four two four two is four one a member yes is four two a member yes we are on the right path the last one three one three one then three two three two is three one a member three one is a member is three two a member three two is a member for all then we say that this relation R2 is transitive. So R2 is transitive. I hope, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. Please play over the video and I know that you get a concept. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I share a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Until we meet again on discrete mathematics and relation. Bye-bye.